I'll give somebody a free gummy bear if they can suck one of these gone and not chew it. What? <laughs> uh, what did you just, say? Just like swallow it. <laughs> but wait a second. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Why would you need to give someone a free gummy bear? Well, there's that's all like the challenge is the gummy bear. <laughs> the they just said over two gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to. I'm gonna show I don't like a fool. There has to be steaks if I'm gonna eat two gummy bears. <laughs> this challenge is so weird. <laughs> suck it. <laughs> Just suck it down. The challenge was weird, but that's the prize yeah. for the challenge. It was so weird. It's weird. <laughs> Here's your free gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody could do it, so I ate the gummy bear. Uh, well, I, 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 you know, I could just grab my own and still do the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stop talking about the gummy bear challenge. Talk about the Momo challenge. Uh, That's scary, man. I can't stand that uh, image. <laughs> That's spooky. You know, what, you know what I've found like recently <laughs> terrifies me? I've actually been having like mild panic attacks recently for the first time in my life. And one of the things that Global does... Global warming. No, is like when people like... Something about the texture of like bees all massed together. Mm. So like, like one of my friends like posted... Like yeah, well no, no, more like bees. That's something <laughs> okay. to be upset. It's like that, that thing with holes all over. You've seen that? Yeah. Similar. Yeah, yeah. like that. And like one of holes my friends... in your hands. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. And bees, yes. Yeah, I knew yeah. that. Yeah. But there was... Yes, holes, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like one of my friends like posted some like... It was like a satire article thing on Hard Times and it was just like a guy covered with bees. Ew. And I was like, I was like, have to hide the post. <laughs> this is... That sounds awful. Yeah, was something it being about that stung texture. Or they were just all over. Oh no, no, it was just like it was like a photoshopped image, yeah. and like it's not even good Photoshop. Like I looked and it, it's so obvious. But my sister's boyfriend used to write for the Hard Times. Oh okay, it's a great website except for that article. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass it along. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the last article. That was the last one. That yeah, was the last one he wrote before he left. <laughs> <laughs> this will show him. <laughs> Went out with a bang. How would you say? How would you say this, Mercia? Yeah, I, I would Mercia? say that. Mercia? Mercia. 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 We can joke and say America. It's, it's, America. I wouldn't America. 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 I'm guessing Mercia. 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 Uh, today we're going to be playing Wolves of Mercia, but more on that in a second. We got new faces at the table. We got to do some introductions. So I'll go the opposite way. Oh, we got <laughs> we're, we're Dylan. I'm you're here with us. You're no, old. I'm just, I'm a, <laughs> yeah, I'm Dustin. <laughs> Dylan, what's your favorite uh, movie about robots? I robot. Really? I Pop robot. Out. <laughs> <laughs> and just overall, any movie. It's my favorite. <laughs> favorite that doesn't even have robots in it? That's your favorite movie without robots? Yeah. Cool. Wait, what's your favorite movie without robots? <laughs> I don't have any. Yeah, I just, I just really don't care about iRobot. <laughs> That's all I care about. Wizard of Oz. What? What's that? <laughs> Wizard of Oz doesn't have robots. <laughs> the Tin Man can be considered a robot. That's a Tin Man, kind of close to a robot. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave is with us. Dave, what's your favorite uh, movie where a guy is dressed up as a girl and trying to trick him on? Oh my goodness. Jesus. That's very specific. Oh, I know that one. I oh, know the uh, other way around, like a girl dressed up as a guy. Mm -hmm. White chicks. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sleepaway Camp. Spoiler alert! <laughs> oh, sorry. Sleepaway Camp. Yeah. That movie's like 30 years old or something. I think it's okay to. Spoiler. I don't think you need a spoiler alert for it. It's a 30 year rule. We gotta wait. I, I am Brett. What's your favorite animal movie? Animal movie? Mm -hmm. Interpret that as you want. Do not say the animal with Rob Schneider. <laughs> you know, I knew you yeah. wanted to. Don't say Old Yeller. Uh, oh, I was thinking that one. Uh, you can say Over the Head. I would say Shaggy Dog Tim Allen. Or Over the Head. <laughs> oh, that's the name of the movie? Shaggy Dog Tim Allen? <laughs> is that at the Tim Allen yeah, movies? That's Wait, that's at the Tim Allen movies. I, I, have, I yeah. have a question. Is Flubbered considered an animal? No. If you want it to be. No. You, but he's like a pet flubber. Technically, technically, any movie with humans in it is an animal movie. Also true. Oh, then I'll go Shaggy Dog Tim Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. Or maybe the Santa Claus, too. Uh... Not 
<laughs> no, not three. <laughs> three is what? Three is escape clause or is two escape clause? I can never remember. You know much more about the Santa Claus <laughs> trilogy than I do. No idea. I think three is the one with Jack Frost. Yeah, with Martin Short. Yeah. Uh, Katie is here. <laughs> Katie, what is your favorite movie with a sword? Sword in the Stone. Oh, well, that was quick. That's so much pressure. Katie is here, uh, uh, a fan favorite, mm-hmm. Team Pete. Hashtag Team Pete. Uh, K- Pete, what's your favorite movie where so- someone dies? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Debbie Downer. <laughs> Debbie Downer. Is that a movie? <laughs> that's an <SNL> L sketch. <laughs> movie where someone dies. I, 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 Lassie. John Wick oh, 2? Lassie uh, dies? Doesn't Lassie die? That's not a no. person. <laughs> that, Lassie wow. doesn't die. I think it's right, the old Jamie Yeller. Because we were talking about old Yeller earlier. Old Yeller, old Yeller dies. Oh, old Yeller. Old Yeller's not it. Shiloh? It's still not a person. Give me a person that dies. And I'm hung up um, on dad. There's so dog. many. Um, <laughs> most movies so someone dies. Titanic. <laughs> Jack dies. Oh, yeah. Definitely Titanic. <laughs> Thanks so much for the help. Is that good for uh, it is not confirmed. Pretty sure. <laughs> they never took a letter. And new to my channel, Matt is here. Matt! We, we found that on the street. He got stuck in a sewer Pennywise situation. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, am I Pennywise or am I the kid? You got, you got, you got Georgie? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the reference. So. You, were, you were about to get... Taken in the sewer. Oh, okay, good. I was about to say, I didn't, I didn't want you saying them like enticing children into the sewer. <laughs> like, I don't know how I feel about that. No, you guys tricked. <laughs> okay, good. That makes me but feel we, better. We, stopped we saved it. you. We stopped it in action. But someone else is out there getting Pennywise. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about that. We can't help everyone. We can't, we help, everyone. Okay. We can't <laughs> help everyone. Yeah. Now, what is your favorite movie? Uh, <laughs> With a train. With the... <laughs> um, I'd probably so say not accepting the books. original uh, Murder on the Orient Express. Oh, oh I haven't seen it. Oh, you should. Spo- I haven't seen the new one. Spoiler alert uh, for Murder on the Orient Express. Everyone does the murder. Um, it's okay. It's a spoiler alert for a book that came out almost a hundred years ago. Everyone grabbed the knife okay. and stabbed. Yeah, what are they all like? Like when you teach someone how to swing a golf, were they all like? Or were they all like stabbed? one person killed him first, and then everyone else thought they killed him, but he so, was already dead? So the whole thing is like there's like thirteen suspects, and Perot, the detective, is trying to figure out who it is, uh, and then like, but everyone has alibis, and what it was is that this person they killed all somehow wronged each one of them in different ways. Mm-hmm. They realized that they bonded together. And then killed this person together, and then covered for each other. Wow! Spoiler: How did they kill him? I love that. Uh, I can't remember. With the rope, probably took one <laughs> fingernail off at a time. Yeah, yes. that's what it was. Did you ever read the murder of Roger Ackroyd? Yeah, that was the, the, that my one. first Agatha Christie book that I read. I think. That's, that's another one. Have you read uh, uh, Wayside School is Falling Down? That sounds so familiar. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was my favorite book. Yeah, that oh. was a good book. <laughs> I was like, how is that related? Not a murder mystery at all. <laughs> it, was, it was Agatha Christie. It's a book, but it's not Agatha Christie. Now, we are very off topic in this mm-hmm. super long video. Guys, we're playing Wolves of Mercia. Yeah, Mercia. Which, Mer- I, have to, Mer- I have to get this out of the way, Mer- is a hashtag ad. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Pause the video! Sorry, guys, for interrupting. But I'm gonna interrupt a couple times throughout this video and just say a couple stuff that I forgot to say during the recording. So this is a hashtag ad. I was given this game for us to play. So thank you so much for sending us this game, Wolves of Mercia, Mercia. But yeah, we're excited to play. This is hashtag ad. Uh, They did want us to mention their newsletter. So there's a link in the description below. You just gotta click it. Put your email address in, and then they'll give you updates for Wolves of Mercia. Because, update, I never said this in the video, this game is not out yet. They're planning for it to come out in the fall, they don't know exactly when. But that's what the newsletter below is for. Click it, if you want this game, if you want to know when it's coming out, they'll tell you everything in the newsletter. I'm signed up for it, they've yet to spam my email, it's not bad. If you want to know more about this game, Sign up for the newsletter below. Hashtag ad. They asked me to say that. They didn't ask me to say all of it, but they asked me to promote the newsletter. Also, a quick warning about this video. We do say, Alexa. Every now and then, we ask her to play music and to stop music. So if you have an Amazon Echo, maybe put it on mute or just deal with your music playing. Also, there are a lot of cards that we didn't play with in this video. 
I will be describing them in further detail after the gameplay, so because I don't want to spoil anything. But uh, there's about 17 villager cards and 12 secret cards. We only have six people, so we obviously didn't get to play with all the cards. But I'll be explaining what all the other villager cards do after the game, so stay tuned if you want to know more about what you can play with. I also do want to say that the setup is completely random, the villagers we play with. You know, we shuffled all the village, all 17 villagers together, and we handed out six. So the village is completely random. Now, the game we had was fun. It wasn't perfect, I would say. Some roles, uh, some people just kept getting donked over each time. So if you're like, hey, that doesn't work out too correctly, uh, it was just a shuffle. So to counteract that, we could have picked six rolls we wanted to play with, then shuffle them up so it's random, but we would, we would have known which six we were playing with. We didn't do that, we shuffled all 17 together and dealt them out. So it is a little funky. But with all that out of the way, uh, yeah, let's continue on with the video. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the, I was sent this game mm -hmm. for a playthrough and an honest review, so we're not holding back anything. Mm -hmm. But I will say, after we play this once. once, and I will say, this is now on Bouncing Mountain's <laughs> list of favorite games of all time. Whoa! It's number one! <laughs> now, number one is a five-way tie with What's That Smell, yeah. What's Your Number, The Pretender, mm -hmm. and uh, this. That's only four things. I, what, I'm missing one. What did I miss? Um, what's your number? Monopoly. The voting game? No. I guess I, I guess. Uh, yeah, all those games were sent to us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think what other ones. Have been. But they're all tied with our number one list of favorite games of all time. Whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure he didn't chew it. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be our longest video in the world. Our videos are usually like 10 minutes long. Now, this one's gonna be an hour and a half. So, this game, I hate to say it, has a lot of rules and a lot of uh, flim flam that goes with it. I'm not gonna explain it all, but the basic rundown is we have five days and five nights at Freddy's to, uh, to, get, to get through this game. And we're all going to get one villager roll, which is face up. Everyone can see. We do those actions during the day. And then we all get a secret roll. Those actions are done at night. And all the secret rolls have their own win conditions. So there's not like one win condition. Though the game will always have one werewolf and two cultists in it. Bless you. When I talk a lot, the burps come out. Uh, the werewolf wins by just living throughout the whole game and no one else winning. That's how the werewolf wins. It's weird that it's called wolves when there's only one wolf in it. Uh, the two cultists will win by uh, flipping over three rituals. Mm -hmm. That's that's done other ways. What do you mean? I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain this game because I want to explain all the rules because there's so many. We might not even get to all the, the plays. So editing wise, I think I'm gonna have the rules come up so that way I don't need to explain everything. Okay. Are you gonna edit this part out? <laughs> so what I'm saying there. <laughs> so yeah, there's a whole bunch of rules. If you die, you can become a phantom. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, there's four four <laughs> phantom cards. There's nothing not cool about being a phantom. Of the uh, opera. Imagine being a phantom and not getting ladies. I mean, you can't mm -hmm. even if you die, it doesn't mean you've lost you. Right. Yeah. Have you ever seen the Billy Zane movie, The Phantom? A long, long time ago. It deserves a rewatch. Bill Cosby's not in that, right? They need to yeah. have about five You're gonna pages spoil that to one too. Oh yeah, it's I don't remember enough about it too. <laughs> so, uh, Bill Cosby Guess dies in Ghost Dad. Oh. I've never seen Ghost Dad. He dies. Is, it, well, is he the titular Ghost Dad? He is. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure it's much of a spoiler. He gets hit by a taxi or something. Small taxi. As far as I got to him. <laughs> And he got scared. Something then the news came text. out. <laughs> did, you see, like, did you see his tweet on Father's Day? What? He tweeted on Father's Day say, hey, saying, hey, it's America's dad. What? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just had that, like, set up when he set up his Twitter, that automatic every, every year. You think, like, him and OJ just, like, high five and then be like, Twitter's with blast. Okay. <laughs> you know, go just found out about it. Real quick, OJ Simpson story. <laughs> uh, my favorite thing I heard is OJ Simpson. I th is he in prison right now? Or he's he been in prison out. for a while. No, he's out now. He's yeah. on Twitter. He's on Twitter. Yeah. Well, he was playing loose. golf. Well, he was in prison for a while, That's and he got wrong. he got in trouble uh, because he was eating so many oatmeal cookies. 
that in they prison. took away his oatmeal cookies and would not let him eat oatmeal cookies when he was in prison. <laughs> You hear that, oh kid? <laughs> Don't go to prison. <laughs> no, take away your cookies. Okay, all your cookies. Don't take away your oatmeal cookies. All right, yeah. first things I'm going to do is deal out six villager cards to each of the players. I'm not sure what you guys are doing. Oh, you stay face down. I'm though, a scholar. Yeah, even though they're face down, you can put them face yeah. up. Yeah, again. I'm begging. <laughs> I'm the jailer. I'm the inquisitor again. So let's go. So. All the villager cards have a number in the top left corner. That's an initiative. So let's go in order. It looks like I am the lowest because I have five. I have eight. Wait, what does P have? Eight, okay. seven. Oh, cool. Oh, six, seven, eight. eight. Okay, five, seven, here we go. I'm going first. So I am the Inquisitor. So I will I will target another player. No. Whenever you target someone, you're just doing it to them. I'm going to target you and then do something to you. <laughs> I may look at their secret card. Well, I, I, I take their secret card and I shuffle this misinformation card in, and that way I have a 50 50 chance of seeing their secret card. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And then it goes to the jailer. Yep. Uh, my action is I can target a player, and whatever player I target can't take a daytime action. A daytime oh, a action? A daytime action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can't mess with me. What's your roll? Yeah, because you go before him. Yeah. Is that? So I can target any player. What's uh, the name? No, the jailer. Jailer. Okay. Yeah, I look. I look like a boss. Yeah, it's pretty know. buff. It's pretty scary. Mm -hmm. I, I have. I'll have it on screen. <laughs> so <you don't>, Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have them all. Yeah, okay. But so, so you stop people's daytime action. Yeah. Have fun messing with me. I'm the artist. I am the <laughs> artist. My action is to target a player and give them a token. It's like one of these art tokens. Pretty. What do the art tokens do? Uh, I don't know, but if somebody gets two of them, uh, while at least two living players have tokens, you cannot be targeted by actions. By daytime uh, actions. By daytime actions. Oh, so does it say daytime? So, oh, cool, yeah. so if two living people have your art, no one can target you during the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it goes to Katie. I'm a scholar. My action is to gain a book token, oh. a scholar token. Um, and my action is to discard any number of book tokens to target that many of players and reveal their secret cards. So during the day, you can collect a book. Yeah. And then you can either keep collecting books or you can discard it and then reveal. A do I flip over their secret card or do I just look at it? It just says reveal. What does reveal Ooh. mean? Let me go to the real book. Yeah, that's pretty Key powerful. terms, revealing a card. When a card is revealed by a game effect, it is shown to all players, hey. then turned back face down. Ooh. A player may never reveal their secret card or show it to another player unless explicitly allowed. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna sh you get to show everyone. Nice, you're welcome, everyone. Jeez, that's gonna be rough stuff. Awesome. Then it goes to Dylan, who is 13. The medium, again. I can only play when people are dead. I assume <laughs> their roles. Does nothing. You can play, you just can't, you just don't, can't do anything cool. You just sit there. Just yeah, you just sit there until people die. <laughs> and then we have uh, so you. Yeah. 15. I'm a beggar. When a player targets me with an action, I give him a slash. With a daytime and I do the motion too. Slash. There we go. Slash. <laughs> it's right. slash. So here's the deal with these slashes. Now it seems like you can give out slashes mm -hmm. and uh, the, the beggar gives out werewolf slashes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't make it. Please give a slash. <laughs> no one else can give out slashes other than the cultist she will give out another slash. No, you give them out. So I feel like the world's gonna have a tough time. But uh, we haven't gotten to ni bit nighttime actions yet, though. So, yeah. So if someone tries to target you, give them this werewolf slash. If uh, the werewolf can only kill people who have uh, a slash. Mm -hmm. the I'm the only one that can slash right now? Yep. Yeah, unless there's a, there, there is some nighttime slashing that can be done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one werewolf and two cultists. And they're in the game. So cultists wake up together. Both cultists will wake up together. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And each of them will put one red block on the thing. Since we only have six players, if we get two blocks on there, we start a ritual. The rituals do different stuff. The first one lets us look at another player's secret card. The second one gives us, we give someone the world slash. I say we, but whoever the cultist is. And then the last one, they win. So if the cultists reveal three of these in the course of the game, they win. If the werewolf survives and no one else wins, he wins. So two people can win. Mm hmm All right, here's... That was our practice game. Both cultists won. Yeah, we did. Brett and Dave did. Was I there? You were sitting right next to me. You were there, you didn't win. 
Yeah, I knew I died. You were a phantom. I think that's just put me out of it. Bum, nothing bum, nothing bum. personal, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> this is my misinformation card. I was like, what? okay, so now I'm shuffling. So now I have. Have we talked about what we're playing for? Oh, yeah, what's the prize? Thanks, uh, other yeah. producer. Oh. Put it by the foot. Where you go? That's all? So just, if you win, just by the foot. By the foot. <laughs> so now I'm shuffling out the six bad guy cards. We do get uh, money for advertising Fruit by the Foot. Oh, yeah, I wish. It's not from Fruit Sponsor by the Foot. Sponsor us, Fruit by the Foot. Or so I have no way of like explaining all of your bad guy cards because Betty I don't Crocker. have to know what they are. Betty Crocker. Really? Sponsor us, Betty Crocker. Yeah. Huh. Who knew? Make a cake. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that brought through by the foot into this house. Don't kick it away from me. Okay, everyone take a sneaky peek at their <gasps> secret roll. Oh, how'd I get this? Why is mine all bent already? So it should have a number in the top left corner. Uh, I'm going to go through the rules real quick to see if I remember them. We don't have lovers in the game, so I'm not going to go over that. Uh, we have the hero fan, which I believe that's how that's pronounced. Mm -hmm. If the cultists win, he wins instead. <laughs> so he just wants the cultists to win. Then we have the cultists. There's two of them. They'll wake up. They'll put red blocks in here. If they fill two up, they get a ritual. Now, the way to stop cultists is by, uh, we don't have a bishop, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> the werewolf better kill the cultists, or the cultists are going to win pretty quick. Dun, dun, dun. Then we have the fugitive. If the fugitive is has was not targeted at day at any time, he may put a red block on the lantern thing. If he gets three lanterns, he's out of town and he wins. Who is that? The fugitive. Oh, the fugitive. I'm sorry. And he can only do that if he wasn't targeted at all during the day. Then we have the arsonist. The arsonist will wake up and put two red blocks in the fire. If he gets up to five, the city burns down and he wins. Now to stop him. The villagers can take uh, a block away as a daytime action. Any of us? Any of us. Uh, the arsonists probably wouldn't want to do it, but any of us are allowed. Then we have the blackmailer. The blackmailer at night will give someone <laughs> will give someone blackmail. Let's say I'm the blackmailer. <laughs> I love, I love the, the gummy bear hopping Dance. into your mouth. Yeah. The blackmailer gives someone blackmail. If the person with blackmail targets the blackmailer during the day, blackmailer wins. It's that mm. fast. Mm. That was just an example. Mm. Then we have the slayer. The slayer wakes up and may look at another player's secret card. If they see the werewolf, they win. They can win first night if they want to. Then we have the werewolf. The werewolf may wake up and if someone has a slash, he may kill that person. He kills them by flipping their villager card over, revealing the grave. Uh, if, someone, if someone has a secret action after the werewolf and they see that they're dead, they don't get to perform wah, their wah, thing. Wah. How does the werewolf win? The Just werewolf wins by staying alive, alive, alive and no one else winning. Stay That's alive. the only action Stay I remember. <laughs> <laughs> We're not playing with the assassin, but then we have the martyr. The martyr wakes up and uh, mm -hmm. I believe gets to look at another player's card. I'm not too sure, but they only win if they die. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what they get to do with night. Whoever has that card, read over it. Then we have the Grave Robber. The Grave Robber may steal another player's secret card. No, steal a dead person's secret card. Mm, grave Robbing. I think, yeah. Then we have the Sinner. The Sinner just cannot win, but they can trade their secret card with anyone. So whoever has that Sinner card at the end of the game wins. I got a text. And we wake up at the end of the night phase and check our secret cards, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as... Soon Does as the rulebook not tell us that? Well, it's just like a house rule kind of the thing? The rulebook kind of doesn't... To. It's just sort of in your best interest. The right? rulebook kind of doesn't have a lot of rules. It's not a rule. It's just like a... But I would... Idea. No, because you want to know what you're doing during yeah. the day. Right. But like in other games... I don't know what I'm games, doing. I'm just going for it. Other games, like you're not allowed to look at your secret cards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, I say let's start, unless anyone has any questions. No, let's, let's rock and roll. <laughs> Have a great game. Break! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go team. Even though we're all trying to... <laughs> <laughs> and now we're at a big... Well, to be fair, there's two, there's two cultists yeah, out there that are on the set. So, so those guys put their hands in. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> okay, as the lowest number, I get to go first. Mm -hmm. And I am the Inquisitor, so I get to take someone's secret card, shuffle my misinformation with it, mm -hmm. and then see what happens. I'm not going to do you, because you can slash me. I'm going to do Katie, because I don't trust her at all. 
Mm. Is she wife? You don't trust her. I never trust her. That's good. <laughs> Are you trying to follow the cards? <laughs> <laughs> I was right. doing a pretty good job of it. I only How's want Brett to have his card. Card. I can't shuffle just... now. No, I'm making it so you can't see what I did. Is it easier if you close one eye? <laughs> I did my action, and I may have seen her card. Which okay. was? A donker. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick, so I'm next, right? I, yes. I remember reviewing the donker. Okay. You can, you can send someone to jail if you don't want them to do their night action. Uh, or day, day action. Refresh my memory. I know what your day action is. I know what yours is. What, what was yours? I get a book token, and then the next time around, I guess, I can discard that book token to reveal someone's mm. secret card. A boring. Can you get an iPod token? <laughs> <laughs> book token. Yeah, or maybe because a Kindle. We'll settle scholar. for Kindle. <laughs> so she, um, can, she can start revealing stuff. If you gotcha. Uh, I'm going to make... I'm gonna target Pete. Pete, Ooh. you can't use your action. No uh, art tokens for you. I can't give anyone anyone art. Keep working on your artwork. Just keep working, dude. Oh. <laughs> so Pete would go, but he can't. So Katie goes. All do, right. Do you want to collect a book? Yeah, I do. All I'm right. Reading this book, bestseller. S so next time she can either collect another book, mm -hmm. or we'll save them up and just yeah, she can have a book shop. She can just reveal everyone a, a on the mass last night. reveal. Can I do more than one reveal at one? Yeah, day? if you keep collecting the books, but you can Did only collect one book a day. Tokens. No, two people didn't have tokens. No, you have no, to you give, gotta give those out. But you can't this time. But you can't because he stopped you. It, was, it wasn't personal. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes to Dylan, who can't do anything because no one's dead. Mm -hmm. And then it goes to you, you can't do anything because you only have a response. No one did anything to you. I just beg for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then slash open and give it to me. <laughs> so yeah, not a lot happened. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. First Can day. I be put in jail? Really slash. I will say no. that the werewolf cannot kill anyone tonight because there are no slashes out there. Great. Just put it on the books. We're all safe. So. Spoken like a werewolf. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it is now nighttime. So Alexa, resume. Is this non I believe this is non copyrighted music. I don't think this is non copyrighted. This sounds like a real song. <laughs> I won't tell. <laughs> YouTube's gonna tell. Non copyright drums. <laughs> I think this is on non copyrighted music. Okay. It's by Major Sound, Ava King. <laughs> this is so copyrighted. <laughs> Are you crazy this right now? <laughs> it's on a non copyrighted playlist. And this feels like someone made that playlist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like they're a copyright lawyer that's looking for more money. Hey, shout out to Major Sound and Ava King for producing this. Can I give them a shout out? They're not going to copyright their music. <laughs> it's a real banger. <laughs> so, everyone, go to sleep. We don't have lovers in the game, so here are font. Oh, Wake I forgot up. my number. Can I look at my number? Sorry. Yeah. Look at your number. Does everyone need a recap of their numbers? Yeah, I got mine. I got mine. Okay. Everyone go back to sleep. Number two, here are font. Wake up and do your night action. You get to look at another player's card. Right now. I know, right? It's got a sick beat. And it's free. Hero, <laughs> Hero fun. Go to sleep. Uh, number three, cultists wake up. You should put a red box in the middle. What? What? No. What? No. <laughs> what? Go to sleep. Fugitive, wake up. Number four, fugitive. Do your thing. If you were not targeted during the day. Fugitive, go to sleep. Number five, arsonist, wake up. Arsonist. Arsonist, go to sleep. Number six, blackmailer. Blackmailer, wake up through your action. Ava King is killing it. Mm -hmm. 
just came. Blackmailer, go to sleep. <laughs> she should be <eating> eggs. <laughs> Slayer, wake up. Slayer. Slayer, go to sleep. Number eight, werewolf, wake up and kill someone. But you can't because there are no slashes out. Werewolf, go to sleep since you can't do anything. Uh, ten, martyr, martyr, wake up. We're not playing as assassin, so I skipped it. Martyr, do, do your thing, martyr. Martyr. Just more again. Martyr, go to sleep. Eleven, grave robber, wake up. Grave robber. Grave robber, go to sleep. Last but not least, sinner. Sinner, wake up and do your thing. Sinner. Sinner, go to sleep. Alexa, stop. It is now the next day. Someone's blackmailing me. And we all get to look at our secret cards to see if anything got swoop swapped. Super Does everyone look at their se new secret card? Mm -hmm. so, so Katie was blackmailed at night. What'd you do? I was. So Katie, if you do a day action to the person who blackmailed you, they win. Hey, be How careful, can we, like girl. reveal them? Would that be the action that I do to them? Yeah, that would be doing an action to someone. And then I would win? Or no. they would win? The, the blackmailer would win. Gotcha. But you'd so. know. So that's a but it would end the game. Yeah, but how cool would that be? Yeah, says, says a blackmailer. Knowing is half the battle. <laughs> mm -hmm. So as uh, number five, the Inquisitor, I get to go first. So I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to go after Mr. Jailer. Since, since he can't F with me. Mm -hmm. Oh, shouldn't those red blocks be off? They should be. So the cultists were... Well, they did a ritual. Oh yeah, we have a ritual out, so... They got to look at a card. Any but, card? Secret card? Yeah, any secret card. Mm. If uh, the next ritual, I believe, is they give someone a slash of the old wolf. Gotcha. The old wolf. The old no wolf. One, how come no one else has a slash? Because didn't the beggar get to do that? Only if, but no one went after the beggar. No right? one went after. <laughs> it's a daytime. Uh, thing. Uh, yeah, no okay. one went after. Okay. okay I'm no gonna slashes. Wow. Take a card. That was my turn. So JLA, now you get to go. Okay, uh... Well, no one's dead. You want to do stuff. Uh, you can't do your daytime. Oh, I can't action. get a book, you book? Nope. Okay. Sorry. Okay. He's, he's kind of helping you, because... Uh, That's black true, because I could have picked the blackmailer. So whoever the blackmailer is. Ha! Have fun. Okay, so you go next. Do you want to sure? collect a token? One of your art works? No, you can give them out, right? Oh, yeah. Just kidding. Target a player and give target, them the art to Target a player and give the art out. Who do you want to have your artwork? Um What type of artist just forces what, their art doing? upon people? If you have you two have if you have two <laughs> out Oh yeah, then I'm protected. <laughs> Yeah. Take it. Yeah. Then you cannot be targeted by day actions. And you can't so get rid of the artwork. What happens yet. if I have this token? Nothing. 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 It just helps him. As long as you're alive gotcha. and there's two out. Okay. Yeah. It can't be in your state. <laughs> just accept his art and, and <laughs> think it's... Take it. Put it in the garage. Think it's it fine. Just respect it. Throw it in the attic. Put and then the it bridge. goes to uh -huh. Dylan, who no one's dead. And then he goes to you and you didn't do anything. Yeah, we didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, really Katie, Katie didn't do anything either. Yeah. So it is now nighttime. This is looking mm -hmm. good for the werewolf. Mm -hmm. No, it's not looking good for the werewolf. They haven't had any opportunity yeah, to kill anyone. There's no slime. Well, the werewolf just has to survive, uh, though. That's what survive with no one else winning. And the only one winning right so now is the Inquisitors. No, yeah, the cultist. The cultist. The cultist. The cultist. Oh, I'm the Inquisitor. Who is probably a cultist, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's you and Dave again. <laughs> Dude, thanks for giving me that card. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. Okay, so does everyone know what their secret role is and secret number? Yes. Uh huh. Yep. Let's roll. Alexa, resume. Free tunes. This is what Ava came to. All right, everyone goes to sleep. Do you want the artist? Yeah. This is by a uh, mid-ranger in Ratfoot. Ratfoot. <laughs> Ratfoot. 
Ew. I've been very enjoying rat foot. Rat foot. <laughs> Those are not transformers. Rat foot. <laughs> rat foot is the worst transformer. <laughs> he transforms into a rat foot. He's probably a rapper that comes on later in the song. All right. <laughs> Number two, hero fan, wake up and do your magic, which I believe is look at another player's card. Do your fan thing. All right, hero fan, go to sleep. Uh, number three, cultists wake up, okay. and you can put red blocks mm-hmm. on the board. Mm-hmm. And then if you get two, you can flip one over, which I believe they can since no one was killed or got the confusion. Ooh. All I have to do is one more ritual off this. Cultists go to sleep. Number six, blackmailer wake up and give someone that blackmail. Uh, black- music. Like blackmailer go to sleep. Uh, number seven, slayer wake up. Slayer gets to look at another player's card if it's a werewolf. They win. Oh, oh that's what a slayer does? Yeah. yeah. They just got to look. There's no risk of them involved. Alright, Slayer, go to sleep. Werewolf, wake up. Ooh! Werewolf can (laughs) kill someone who has a slash if there's one out there. I like laser tag music. Alrighty, werewolf, go to sleep. Don't cover your senses. Uh, ten, martyr, wake up. Martyr. Martyr, go to sleep. Eleven, grave robber. Grave robber, rob your graves. Are you dancing, Dad? Because I feel like you're dancing. I was dancing. I'm dancing, too. We're all dancing. Feels feel the rave in here. Feel the dancing. Feel the dancing. Brave robber, go to sleep. Last but not least, sinner. Sinner, wake up and sin your sin. That's a good show. The Sinner? Yeah. We haven't watched the second season yet. Oh my goodness, we haven't? Let's watch it. I like the first season. Sinner, go to sleep. Everyone, wake up and do your, your cultist in that. I don't feel like Pete did this. <laughs> You've been marked. <laughs> what is that? A gummy bear. <laughs> What's it say in the rule book about the gummy yeah. bear? <laughs> if you eat it, they win. <laughs> if you eat it, they win. Oh, no. You consulted the page that had the artwork on it. Oh! You're dead! Oh, no! Stop! Oh, you died! You died! Whatever. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the scratch? You get to be a phantom now. Wait, the how scratch, did I get scratched? Probably cult- ritual number two. The cultist uh, guy. Yeah. So you weren't a cultist, because why would the cultists do that to themselves, right? Yeah, and, why, and he's not a werewolf either, because why would the werewolf kill himself? Wow. Oh, do you want to become a phantom? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do I get a choice? To be fair, in the rule book, it's like a, it's like a variant, they call it. Sure, I can be punished, but throws it up. <laughs> no, I'm done with playing this game. <laughs> Forcing it on me. Just take one. <laughs> oh. So really read those rules. Now, since we have a phantom, I'm going to call zero out when we start. And Dylan, you got someone to copy now. Oh, you got to. Oh, Alexa, stop. <laughs> Sorry, I forget all my daytime rituals. <laughs> this is day three. Day three. I have been black. Did we just start day three? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a plan for the weekend? Yeah, or something? it's oh. relevant. <laughs> you guys will find out. <laughs> so it really doesn't seem like we have an arsonist or a fugitive. I'm just putting that, that out there. But I do get to go first as the lowest villager. I hate to keep bragging. Yeah, you're a lowly person. But I'm going to go after Pete. Pete. Sorry. He might be able to look at your secret card. And we can like tell each other what we see, right? Yeah, I could. We just haven't done any of that yet. Do you want me to? Well, how do we trust him? 
Like, for example, what if he looks and Pete's a cultist and he's a cultist? That's true. And then he would probably say. But I feel like that's Pete's. part of like the deception part of the scheme. Oh, you're right. So yeah. cults you know do I mean? lie to us. Like, like exactly. <laughs> like you can tell us. Can and we, we both can, of them? We can choose no, not no. to believe you. I looked at a card and then I shuffled them again. I just want to double check that I had my misinformation. I don't want to give you. So my do I get to look at this? Yeah, you can. It, it didn't change. It didn't change. He didn't steal it. I don't trust you. Still the same. Thing. So I just didn't want to give you my misinformation. So what's his role? He's a werewolf. Oh! You are such a liar. <laughs> <laughs> the, the werewolf would say that. So did you kill? Why did you kill Dave, Dad? Yeah. Yeah. Well, theoretically, Dave, the, werewolf, wasn't the werewolf at the time, just between uh, me and you. Uh, yeah. But but also, the, he could have only killed Dave. Dave, me, yeah, you, Dave, and the Mark. Really, yeah, that, that, was literally, that was only the option. I'm sorry. We're buds. Cool. You're buds. We're really. Well, one of the dudes put the mark on me. Yeah, one but of the cultists. Cultists. Oh, it's my turn. Brett. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Again? <laughs> yeah, you can't do your day. Well, I'm really enjoying this book here. Just can't use it. <laughs> Just read. Just reading it. <laughs> reading through the book. So. Could uh, reveal all y'all. So Pete, you get to go now. Do you what? want to give art to someone else? Is it seven already? Yes, I'd love to give art seven. to someone else. So once you have two pieces of art out to two living members, people cannot attack you. That's right. That's right. Yay. That's right. Who else do you want to give a piece of your art um, to? Such a hard decision. Um, you and Dave are buddies. He's dead over there. Nobody's oh, that's true. It has to be him. a living. No, it has to be a has living to be person. A living guy? Yeah. Giving it to Dylan. Well, you, you can give it to a dead person. Yeah, but then it won't help. But then him. it has no effect. Yeah, but that dead person. I don't think they can. I think I figured out what power I figured out. The power. Like, come back the power of art. <laughs> it's so moving. It moved me so, to the frame. So right now, people cannot attack Pete with their daytime actions. That's right. That's right. Let's include nice. you, dude. I got I or wish me. There, I wish there was a thing where like the people that had his art couldn't be attacked there. So then it goes to Dylan. Mm -hmm. Dylan, if you want to copy Dave's, though, all it does is it's a response. They can't. I don't think I can do anything. No. Yeah, you're medium. You can well, do anything well, with him. Mine. Mine's it's kind of useless. The beggar. You can give someone a slash. No, it's it's too late because no one's. Oh, uh, if only yeah, someone. Can't do anything. Wait, if yeah. anyone did it to Dave or anyone did it to Dylan. He becomes the beggar, yeah. but no one's going anymore. So uh, it has no purpose. Yeah. Okay. Just so. And it does. Cool. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, folks. The last one. And I'm guessing Pete didn't blackmail me. Looks like Pete, the cultists are about to win. It doesn't doesn't seem like Pete blackmailed me because he didn't win. No. That was risky. I probably shouldn't have done it. But he couldn't. If someone targets him, he has to wait till his turn to become mine, so he can't. Yeah, but there are people that go after the medium. We just don't have them in play right now. Wait, did you put the thing on? I'm Dad? just saying, I don't. When could he ever actually take oh, the you beggars? Didn't do anything to Dad? Someone black. I don't think he could. I looked at his call nature. Oh, yeah. he can okay. he can only take someone that has an action, not a response. Yeah, okay. So get an action. Stop having that response. So. <laughs> Sheesh. So uh, it is now night three. Night three. You guys have ritual number three. Cultists are about to win. Nothing can be done to prevent to that. To be fair, if Dave was a cultist, then there's only one cultist out there. Oh, yeah. True. I guess. Mm -hmm. Guess we'll wait and see. Alexa, resume. <laughs> we'll just wait to see if someone just starts. By the way, this music is by James Sticka. <laughs> James? James Sticka. Okay, is everyone asleep? No, <laughs> Okay, now go. Okay, everyone close your eyes. Number two, hero fan, do your thing. Oh, I forgot what number I am. Okay. <laughs> You're number eight. Yeah. Well, how would you know? <laughs> oh, do the werewolf? I don't do my nighttime, actually. You're dead. Right You're, dead. You're dead, dead. Great. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. wait. I you forgot need, to say you need to call the phantoms. Hero yeah. fan, go to sleep. Phantoms wake up if you have a if you have a night action do your thing. It should say either zero on the top. If it says X, you can't do anything. Oh, is that your face? I was kissing him. Alright, Phantoms, go to sleep. Hero fan already let you do your thing, so number three, cultists wake up and do your thing. Put two blocks on the board, or put one block for each of you. Pause for a second. So Dylan should have I kicked my green screen. So Dylan should have woken up. He is a cultist. 
He said after recording, he just forgot. He just plain forgot to wake up. I don't know how, we did it twice before and everything worked out. But yeah, we would have won the game, but we didn't because he didn't wake up. So the outcome of the whole game is not too different. Check, you'll, you'll stay with it. So Dylan should have woken up. Rules please, woo woo! Doesn't seem like the cultists have won, so cultists go to sleep. Fugitive wake up. Fugitive. Any more lanterns lit? Yeah, I don't think we have a fugitive. So fugitive go to sleep. Arsonist wake up. Don't think we have an arsonist. Arsonist go to sleep. Blackmailer wake up and blackmail someone. Blackmailer, go to sleep. Slayer, wake up and slay. Slay all day. And by the way, as soon as you've reached your win condition, just shout that you've won. Slayer, go to sleep. Werewolf, wake up and kill anyone who has a slash of the werewolf in front of them. What if they're already dead? <laughs> Kill them again, yeah. You cannot kill someone twice. That's double jeopardy. <laughs> How does everybody know I'm the werewolf? Okay, werewolf goes to sleep. Pretty obvious. <laughs> uh, martyr wake up. Ten, martyr. Martyr, go to sleep. Eleven, grave robber. Grave robber. Did you do zero? I did. Uh -huh. oh, I missed it. Matt yelled at me. Okay. Grave robber, go to sleep. Twelve, sinner. Sinner, wake up. Uh, sinner, go to sleep. Everyone wake up. Alexa. Stop. And we look at our secret cards. It's now daytime. Well, I think we know who the other cultist was. <laughs> I'm no longer the werewolf. That's cool. You're no longer the werewolf? Mm -hmm. Are you just saying that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so. You don't have that anymore. Yeah, I, I, unless on this blackmail, you blackmail me twice. Could be. Okay. And there's no rule against it. There's no rule against blackmailing like someone twice in a row. Cool. But uh, I get to go first. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to look at, I think the only person I haven't looked at you is Dylan. Are you blackmailing Dylan? Oh, I made him the werewolf. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Did you blackmail me? Mm, that's a close one. Two times in a row? <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't blackmail you. Definitely, I swear, dude. Definitely seems like a cultist has died. I did make him the werewolf. Well, yeah, because there would be what's called two things out there. There would there. be two, and the cultist should have won last Or night. the cultist is just not doing their job. <laughs> or they, or maybe they just don't know. I do love that, Dave. <laughs> that has happened before. Yeah. There is precedence for that. Never happened. <laughs> this information. I didn't steal this card. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, Jailer gets to go. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, once again, it's just one of these. Never going to be able to re reveal anyone. It might be. You don't have to do it, do you? Does it say Target me? player, the player may not take an action today. Hmm. Yeah, no, I guess I don't have to do it, right? I really don't know if you have to do okay, it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make an executive decision. I'm good. Yay! <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so uh, Pete gets to go. Do you want to give art to anyone else? Oh, Backup plan. There you go. Good job. Thanks for the art. This guy keeps giving us his art. <laughs> He's talking about good. Huh? It's just a picture of a girl. She shows up and gives yeah. us a hot girl. She looks kind of mad. It's like a 
like a nun. Kind yeah, of it looks like it's from the movie The Nun. It's a sexy <laughs> nun. It's not sexy. No, it's, it's just, just a nun. flying uh, nun. No, she looked mad though. Wait, did you think like the nun in the movie The Nun was a sexy nun? I haven't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> we said the movie The Nun. You were like, it was a sexy, sexy. nun. <laughs> <laughs> Hot nun. So Katie gets to go. I will school. take a buck. None of those nuns. Wow, you're not gonna reveal anything, especially when they pull on you. You're gonna reveal two minutes, and that's if you're not. That's if you're alive. I know. Yeah. I believe in myself. There's still a werewolf out here somewhere. Yeah, thank you very much. Dylan, you can't really do anything. Aww. Well, for you, it's been a really die. exciting game for Dylan. Shut you down. <laughs> so. I'll be honest, I think he might be the werewolf. Because Dylan's been sitting back, right? I'm so going to be pretty. honest. I'm, I didn't get to see his card. I just saw my misinformation. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So nothing makes me believe How more than you're going to be honest than the phrase, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. How many times did you see your misinformation card last game? Last game, it was, it was about 50-50. It really is like 50-50. It's weird how those odds work out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but no, if it was 50-50, you'd have to have 50 cards. I did. And 50 other cards. You don't see what's under the table. <laughs> All right, but I do believe it's time for me to slap on my Michael Housted. Housted. Oh, I know him. Let's get Housted. Housted. Alexa, resume. Everyone go to sleep. Should this be off? The marker should move, though. Mm. No, Does that's that stays on there. Move? That's no, this oh, this one. Yes. Oh, the blackmailer moves this. Yeah, you definitely want Wait, to so that stays on you forever? No, wait, no the, wait, black the blackmailer mailer can move it this time. Yeah, so... Whoever the blackmailer is can move it to another person. Yeah. So if the blackmailer has died, it's not My point move. is that doesn't move without the blackmailer moving it. Yes. Correct. So that is on you until... It sounds like you're the blackmail. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else moves off people except for that. I, I so that's why that went cute. back to the middle. I mean, I can if it, that's what. It's not in the rule book. Let's put that's it back. That's what I was getting at. Okay. It seems like everything else. So you're saying the blackmailer should be uh, doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So at the, end, at the end of the turn, move back to the middle. That's what they did with me when I had it. Okay. Went back in the middle. Okay, go to sleep. Does everyone know what card that secret yes. card they have in yes. front of us? Yes. Gotcha. Okay, Alexa, resume. Oh, she's over there now. Okay. Number two, Hierophant. Wait, zero. Zero, Phantoms. Oh, Hierophant. Skip the Phantoms. Go back to sleep. Phantoms, do your stuff if you can. But I have nothing to do. Oh, <laughs> then you just hang tight. Okay, Phantoms, go to sleep. Number two, Hierophant, wake up. Carly Rae Jepsen? Sounds like Carly Rae Jepsen. Okay. Like, I would know that. Call me baby. <laughs> yeah, as everyone knows, the least non-copyrighted music card is. <laughs> Hero fan, go to sleep. Uh, number three, Cultus, wake up. Cultus, you can put red blocks in the center. If you reach two, you can flip over that card, and you'll win the game. We won! Uh, I thought there was only one of us. No, you didn't. Oh! Uh, uh, what? what is that card? Hero fun. What is that I, card? I had that one and somebody took it from me. It was me. Game. I was the center. I switched it with you. Wait. Where did it put my foot? <laughs> yeah, I get a What game is this? <laughs> a game where I just won. <laughs> we win the game. We win the game instead. You guys should have tried to kill him. Lame. I didn't know his action. Like, how could we kill him? I explained all the rules. Well, like, how could we kill him? We're not, like, team up with the werewolf somehow? The, you could have. I, I want to know how I got the werewolf. So your ritual, right? You had that second ritual why, why, where you could have put the claw. claw. She was an occultist at oh, that point. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Dylan and I, I started at the center. I, 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 I think lot. you stole the center from I had the worst combo of cards. This and, uh... Blackmailer? That means I, like... I was the werewolf for the first, like, two or three nights, and I couldn't do anything. That was a bad combo. Yeah, that's a horrible <laughs> combo. No one's gonna get me, and I've never got hey. You just spread some love. I had one more day. Win the game. Win oh, the game, wow. and then you get some from front of the Alexa. Yeah. Or do you want like, me to, like, stretch it yeah, across, we'll, and we'll just, like, relay any of the trap? Yeah. I like that you I'll waited that. for them to, to high-five before Alexa, you like... Alexa, stop. No, you don't. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I got so excited. So the cultists should have tried to kill Matt. But like how? How long have you had that for? You, uh, you I really switched. Cards, so I had the center. I switched with Pete on the first. You one. gave me the werewolf. And then no, I gave you I the center. The How did I get the werewolf? I I'm was the, the center. I'm the center well, now because you yeah, took the center that. and switched it to someone else. And yeah, they you, probably you, told, you took my werewolf. I did it to me. You gave me the center. <laughs> I, I did it to myself. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That's what you get. Did I have a choice? Yeah. Well, well you, you had to give this one away because you can't win the game with this one. But. So you gave me this and took my oh, werewolf. Oh, so I, I, yeah. And then I took Gret's cultist and gave him the yeah. center. We were I just was, passing the center on. Oh, yeah, so I, I had that after the end of my first turn. Bummer. So we haven't played with all of the cards yet, <laughs> but any any review of the game? I don't like that card. What is the point of that? Because the you cultist know. can't kill. But you you were the person who could have revealed him. You were just collecting your books. You yeah. I could only collect a book twice. You should have showed him off. Yeah, but you could have used one of those books Before and you, you could have revealed gave, this to everyone. He gave you a chance. Yeah. And you're like, I'm just gonna get more books. But the werewolf couldn't have killed him anyway, and he didn't have a slash on him. That's true. But That's then fun. everyone would have known would have teamed up on him. But everyone would have known who I was, and they would have gotten No, because only on he only hurt he only hurts the cultists. And why would anyone other than the cultists want to hurt him? Fair point. Well, That's everyone true. Would team like even the, the werewolf, like to prevent the werewolf, all three of them from winning. The werewolf wouldn't That's want what to help you do. that. I think that's a weird card. All right, my review, there's a couple rules that are a little shady, but since I can't remember any rules anyway. <laughs> Two thumbs up. This rule book is, is, is a little it's thick, a but I wish it was thicker because they don't explain all. Well, I just wish there was more, like, details in it. Yeah, it's I mean, it the artwork's pretty, really cool. I do like the, the artwork design. Nice. I like it. There's I like no the, text. I think it's fun. I think if we play more, and once we get all, once we know all the bad guys and all the good guys, I think we be better at claiming so also, bad also, guys and good guys yeah cultists the bad guys I also like the guys. fact that like everyone has their own little win condition yeah it's like, interesting because yeah. with the, yeah with a lot of these games at least in my experience I haven't played too many it's like so there's guessing, only like two or three ways to win but each one of us is now working towards a different goal so like that was my goal my goal was to figure out who the cultists were and make sure they win. and make sure they win so if if they didn't win, Dave would have been back in the game. <laughs> he was the Phantom of Hope. I figured that one Aww. out. When he, was, when he was like, someone could come back from no, the There's dead. no way of me winning because I'm a freaking beggar and a blackmailer. Don't so. <laughs> 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 get so hard on <laughs> yourself. <laughs> what about your cards? <laughs> what about your cards? Don't talk about yourself, Dave. I'm a beggar. <laughs> I'm a blackmailer. <laughs> I'm a blackmailer. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next time for more Bounce and Bounce, and thanks, Matt, for... What, what day of the week is it? Did we I'm, discuss I'm it? sure it's Monday. Okay, mo no. Oh, Mondays are the yeah, worst. I gotta work. Right. Oh, oh, so oh. It's Friday! <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> it's actually Saturday. <laughs> 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 oh, listen, yeah, that really I am <laughs> on Friday. Nixon <laughs> <laughs> loves Friday. <laughs> he had actually, a little bit of fact, Richard Nixon, primary stockholder of TGF Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> Free appetizers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Free appetizers, and uh, every single time that you try to eat anything, that you find a little recorder inside of it. Oh, lovely. Wow. That's that sanitary part, though. <laughs> Why did I think of, like, recorder instead of, like, recorder? Like, a miniature. <laughs> yeah, like a miniature little flute. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. On Monday. No. Ha! <laughs> ah, Guys, it's me again for the last time. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I know that was an hour ago, but I'm gonna explain all of the villager cards we didn't use. There are 17 of them, so if you're interested in the game, but like, I wanna know what else is in there, guess what? I'm gonna explain them all. Here we go. I'm gonna go in order of initiative. So number one is the bishop. Their daytime action is to target a player and give them the I don't know what it's called, it just has a symbol on here. I'm gonna say the question mark token until tomorrow. If that player is a werewolf or cultist, they may not wake up. So yeah, you're gonna give them the little token, you give it to someone, it only affects cultists and werewolves, they may not uh, wake up, or they may not take their nighttime action. Yeah, very cool. He's, he, he would be, he's great for stopping the cultists. Number two, the priest, their daytime action is they target a player. They must either show you their secret card. If they don't want to show you their secret card, then you give them a slash of the werewolf. So that's pretty cool. He's like, he's basically like, hey buddy, stick him up or I'm going to slash you. He's pretty cool. That's a good way to get slashes out for the werewolf. Then we have the noble. The noble controls the edict card. So their daytime action is to place the counter on the edict card to take the corresponding action. So there's four things they can do during the daytime. They can put a, a block on that starts a curfew. It says choose a number in that night phase, skip that initiative count. So that'd be one through 12, or I guess zero through 12 if you're playing with phantoms. Uh, and then that player just can't do it. They can't do their action. 
I'm not sure if that happens every night or if they change their number every night. They can put a block on a rest, target a player until tomorrow. That player must not, may not take daytime actions. So it's kind of like the jailer. So we got two different jailers in there. Or conscript, target a player. That player may take a daytime action. So they're giving them an extra daytime action. Or the third thing is remove all counters from their car. So I'm not sure exactly how this works. I'm not sure if they, they like pick one they can do one at a time and by the fourth night they can get rid of them and start over uh yeah that's what i'm assuming is happening so they can pick a different night to do it and everything fourth night they clear it and then on the fifth night they can do it again well not really because you can start a curfew next day clear it curfew clear it it just takes a while because it's a whole daytime action to clear the card then we have the night the daytime action is to give the shield token to another player until tomorrow. If that per person would be targeted by an action, the targeting player instead discards the shield token. So it doesn't say nighttime or daytime action. So the knight puts a shield on. If, if at any point someone tries to target that player, instead of targeting him, just takes away the shield. So the shield's gone forever, I'm assuming. Or it says discard. It doesn't say just give it back. It says discard. So a lot of these rules aren't set in stone. That's why I'm guessing at a lot of them. So yeah, can stop an action from happening to a person. Then we have the Inquisitor. I was the Inquisitor. You get to look at two cards. Jailer. Matt was the Jailer. You saw him. Got to stop a daytime action. Artist. Uh, Pete was the artist. If they have two art tokens out, uh, no one may target that person during the day. Then we have the Scholar. Katie was Scholar. She collects books one per day, or she can flip all the books she has over and reveal that many player secret cards. Then we have the merchant. The merchant is control of the item deck. There are four, uh, five items in the game. Their daytime action is to reveal the top card and give it to any player. So they look at it first, then they give it to a player. Can't give it to themselves. So these items are the Sucri... Sucri I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Sucrying Glass. So they give this card to someone and then that person can use that item at any time. Action. A daytime action is to discard this card. To target a player, you may look at that player's secret card. Or the Cursed Ring. You may not take day actions. A nighttime action is to target a player and give them the Cursed Ring. So this item will pass around during the night. You only get one nighttime action. You only get one daytime action. So if you don't want it to, if you want to take day actions, you gotta sacrifice a night action to give this up. Uh, then we have the bloodstained amulet. This card counts as a slash, though the day or night action is to target a player and give them this. So this card also keeps moving around, counts as a werewolf slash. So if werewolves out there, they might kill you. So watch out if you have that. Oh boy, filigree mask. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. This is a response card. So if you were to be targeted by daytime action, discard this card and cancel that effect. So that's pretty cool. Then we have the golden mirror. The daytime action is to discard this card to target a player and trade secret cards with them. That's pretty cool, because you're trading secret cards. So there, as you can see, there's a lot more villager roles in the game that are really fun that we didn't play with because of the shuffle. Then we have 10, the jester. The daytime action is to target a player and trade secret cards with them. Ooh, like the robber. Very fun, but during the day. So the sinner trades cards at night, jester trades cards during the day. Then we have the descendant. I hope I'm pronouncing it. I'm not great at reading. Stay in school, kids. Uh, the daytime action is to target a player who has already acted today. Trade villager cards with them. So it has to be 10 or below, and they have to have done their action. So, uh, yeah, you, you can trade villager cards which is not so then we have the widow at the beginning at to you begin the game with a second secret card it's out of play it's a bonus one but your daytime action is to switch your secret cards so you get to look at both of them and you get to decide which nighttime action you want to do so you can get a werewolf out of the game by doing that or a cultist dylan was the medium it's a little harder to play with with a smaller group, but their daytime action is to choose that dead player, and you may take that person's daytime action. So you don't switch cards, you just look at the dead person and be like, yeah, I want to do that, that daytime action. Then we have 14, the lunatic. 
The daytime action is to reveal your secret card, target up to two players, and look at their secret cards. Now, this would probably be a better card for bigger groups, but you can look at two player secret cards, but you gotta show yourself. What a lunatic. Yeah, I would say. 15 the bigger, what we had. I will say, in the game we play, our practice game, the bigger worked off better. It's a response. So anytime a person tries to target the beggar with a daytime action, you may give him a werewolf slash. So if someone really wants to look at your secret card, you can slash him. Yeah, so not the best card, but hey, it's pretty fun. Then we have the barkeep, 16. Their daytime action is to target a player. That player may not take a nighttime action. So it's like the jailer, but for night times, can't do their thing at night. Bark, I guess it may, makes them so drunk they can't do their nighttime action. Then we have 17, again, not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. The courtesan? Courtesan? I don't know. Their daytime action is to choose a number. Tonight you may wake up on that initiative count. You don't get to do anything, but you get to see what they're doing. So you get to pick 1 through 12. The only thing, not all those people are going to be in play. But let's say you pick 5, and that's the arsonist. You wake up, and you can see what the arsonist is doing. That would be a really boring one, because they're just putting blocks in the middle. <laughs> There's... Once you get to know the game better, that'd be better. That'd be cool, because blackmailer, you can see who the blackmailer is. You probably really want to wake up during the cultist or the werewolf, or someone who's switching cards. Arsonist, maybe not so much. Yeah, so those are the villager cards. I'm going to go over the bad guy cards. Once again, I know I went over it before, but I want to go over it one more time. All right, guys, now I'm going to go over the, two, the three bad guy roles, secret roles, that we did not play with. I want to go over them real quick. Number nine, starting off later, is the assassin. Now, the reason why we didn't play with this is because I think it might be a little bit better with a bigger group. Their nighttime action is to target and kill another player. Yeah, we didn't want to be killing off people every night, or we'd be down on one. Maybe we should have. Maybe it would have been a good counterbalance for the cultists. I don't know. But they get to target and kill another player. You may take this night action if fewer than four players are dead. So it's an early on action. If more than four people are dead, you can't be killing people. But if less than four people are dead, I guess three people. Three people or less are dead. You can take this action. So the person... What you want, your win condition, is when the three other characters with the highest initiative are dead, you win the game. So that's talking about villagers, I'm assuming. It just says characters. I'm assuming they're talking about villagers. The three villagers with the highest initiative, except yourself, uh, you want to kill them. Kill them the, the higher guys. So that's, what, that's the reason why we didn't play with them. Lots of death. Alright, let's go to number one. We have two lovers. So lovers wake uh, if exactly two lovers are still alive at the end of the fifth night, you win. So they don't do anything at night. Uh, they can just look at each other. Hey. And if both of them are alive at the fifth night, they win. Now, so werewolves can't win with the lovers. If the lovers win, the werewolves cannot win. But also with that group is the lonely heart. So the lonely heart can be in the game too. If you and exactly one lover are alive at the end of the fifth night, you win the game. So, the two lovers only want two lovers to be alive. The lonely heart wants the, the third lover to be gone. So, ooh, some drama in this house. Uh, that's a, The main reason why we didn't play with them is because if only one lover is in the game, they're just screwed. Uh, I, don't, I feel like if, you, if you're going to have lovers in the game, you got to have them both. And I just took secret cards away from the table. So those are all the cards in the game. Sorry, this is a lot of me explaining, a lot of me making this game, this video longer. But I just wanted to explain all the cards because there are a lot of cool villager cards that we just did not play with. And I want to say that the game we recorded might not have been the best game. It definitely wasn't the worst, but it might not have been the best representation of the game. We definitely did want to play more. Now, we couldn't because people had places to go and it's hard for us to get a big group together. But... I'm actually, I'm really glad they sent me this game. They, they didn't ask me to say this, but I'm glad they sent us this game. It's fun. It's one of those games, once you learn all the rules, it can be really fun. I mean, that's, I'm sure that's a lot with a lot of games. We're not expert gamers. We're kind of middle of the road. We like having fun with games, but we're not experts. Yeah, I really like it. Thank you for sending it to me. Remember to check out that newsletter if you want more details about this game. It's coming out in uh, fall, hopefully but the newsletter will tell you more. Thanks for watching.
See you later. Bye.